Welcome back for our weekly segment with the Pacific Coast Business Times. This week they have new reporting on a Goleta based business valued at $2 billion that has just laid off workers. Brooke Holland joins us live. It's nice to see you, Brooke. Tell us what's happening with Appeal Sciences. Hi, Scott. Thank you for having me. Appeal Sciences, which is a Goleta company that developed a system for increasing the shelf life of fresh produce, has laid off an um, unspecified amount of workers. The majority of those impacted were based outside of California and were spread across several different departments. As of February, we know that Appeal had 450 employees, but they did not disclose how many were based out of the Goleta office or elsewhere in California. And the layoffs come as the company said it will downsize its operations. And um, this kind of comes after years of continued growth as well. It's a very interesting product that they have here. Their website says they use materials that exist in the peels, seeds, and pulp of all fruits and vegetables to create a protective extra peel that seals moisture in and keeps oxygen out. So it keeps it from going bad for a much longer period of time. To this point, investors, some of them very well known, seem to really like what the company is doing. Yes, uh, in its latest funding round of $250 million, which occurred in September of 2021, Appeal was valued at more than $2 billion, and Appeal had um, raised $650 million in venture capital, and uh, that com came from investors including Oprah Winfrey and uh, Bill and Melinda, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, so some big names right there. And uh, this company was founded uh, by UC Santa Barbara researchers in 2012. And they've grown uh, tremendously in, in just 10 years. Uh, and you're reporting here in this week's Pacific Coast Business Times uh, in the article that I know you worked on was written by Jorge Mercado, but kind of mentions as well that venture capital investment in companies uh, all across the board seems to be slowing down. Perhaps that's part of the situation here. Yes, um, we had some insights um, and uh, it uh, ha this has met, left many companies to rethink their long-term uh, strategies since uh, capital will likely be harder to come by in the future. And uh, these layoffs seems to be the uh, first snag in appeal since its tenure history. Right, when big companies have layoffs, they don't often want to talk too much about it. I know they did give you a, a statement. They did respond to, to your interview requests and they, they emailed you some information. And what do they say about the future of the company? Yes, so regarding the uh, layoffs, uh, they provided a statement that said they are working tirelessly to support those impacted during the transition and uh, that this was a difficult decision, uh, but it is, was made to streamline its operations in some areas to best position the company to accomplish its mission to reduce food waste by uh, sustaining you know, a long, uh, long business, uh, long term business in the future. Right. OK, you can read more about this in the Pacific Coast Business Times about layoffs at Appeal Sciences. We'll also put a link to it on our website. Brooke, thank you much for joining us today. Thank you.